provide marriage and I'm with the caregiver background check bureau with the Department of Social Services. Today I will be showing you how to log in and activate your guardian account as well as how to verify your employees for the HERO award. Two ways that you should have received your username or password. If the Department of Social Services has an email address on file for you, you will have received an email from guardian no reply at dss.ca.gov. Your email address in that instance is your username and your temporary password is your nine digit facility number. If you did not receive an email, you will be receiving a letter via US mail that outlines that your username is the first 10 letters of your facility name, omitting any spaces or special characters in conjunction with the last four digits of your facility number. Your temporary password is still your nine digit facility number. So the first thing you'll do is log on to guardian.dss.ca.gov slash agency. You'll go ahead and see these terms right here and select OK. You will then log in to your Guardian account using your username and temporary password. Once you have entered your temporary password and selected login, you will be prompted to change your password to a permanent one. You'll be prompted to select two security questions that you can put the answers in as kind of a self-service option if you get locked out of your account or forget your password. This screen is the end user license agreement that you will see every time you log into Guardian. You're going to want to accept the terms and select submit. From here, you are brought to your home page in Guardian. So this is a dashboard, we call it the at a glance, that will direct you to various parts of the Guardian system. You'll see your agencies down here if you have multiple agencies associated to your license. But what we're going to focus on is going under this rosters tab and verification. Once you're on the rosters tab, you'll go down to verification. This will bring you to the page where you can verify your employees for the HERO award stipend. Once you select verification on the rosters drop down, you will be brought to the verification page. This is where you will verify your employees for the HERO Award stipend. You will notice that only individuals who have been working in residential care facilities for the elderly or RCFE continuing care retirement facilities are eligible to receive the HERO Award stipend. Individuals who qualify for the HERO Award stipend must have worked within the applicable time period. And a reminder, this HERO Award is a one-time stipend after verification has been completed by the employer the employee will no longer appear for future verification periods. More information is linked in this pin right here, pin 20-21 adult and senior care. What you'll do next is you'll scroll down to these filter options. The association verification date will always start on April 1st. And the verification needed by date is going to be whatever the date you're verifying. So today is June 3rd, so I'll go ahead and say my verification needed by date is June 3rd. It is important to note that employers can verify their employees at any time. Um, and it is also important to note that new hires may take a few days to reflect on your roster, so you're just going to want to keep checking back periodically. Once you have the verification period in and you have your correct facility selected, you're going to go ahead and select search. From here, you will see every employee that works for Jane's Family Daycare. And what you're going to want to do is just like verify if your employee is qualifying. So hit verify selected, and this last association date will change. And that's all you do. If you have any questions regarding the HERO Award or any questions regarding Guardian, you can contact the Caregiver Background Check Bureau at guardian.dss.ca.gov. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 